you're expecting a corny joke right here, you're on the wrong channel. T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978, reviewing Transformers Vinyl Tech BT-08 Meister, aka Zoom Zoom, aka Red Jazz. Jazz was named Meister in Japan. Yes, this packaging has seen better days. But what you gonna do about that? It's dusty, it's dirty. It was nice back in the day before I let it get beat up. Here's what he normally looks like. Since this is the original version, what they did with these packaging is even if they did a color variant, they kept the original color box art on the back but they they of course changed the color on the inside of, of the vehicle here are some other vinyl tech figures that were out around this time of this release anyway and let's get them out of here inside he comes with an autobot logo sticker and this actual transformers name is a sticker too that you can pull off unlike alternators vinyl tech figures came with a, a bio card or a collector's card. They actually had a storyline and a bio going on, but of course it's in Japanese. It's translated. Um, I often refer people to, or this is probably the third time I've probably referred people to this, but Ben's World of Transformers, like he, the, he has all the translations up on his website, I believe. You see those pictures right there the actual instructions this artwork back here the real car and that's about that right there other than that stuff you get this cardboard display base right here and no my camera isn't blurring that out it's messing my eyes up trying to look at that because it's so blurry but it looks like that and that on the back and what you can go ahead and do and do with this is put your Mazda RX-8 right there and display it if you want. And now I'm getting into Red Jazz right here. He is awesome. I love... Oh my goodness. If you've never held a vinyl tech figure. Like the weight. This feels like an actual real model car. It feels like I'm holding a real car that was shrank down to this size. It's so amazing. Like the whole thing isn't vinyl... I mean isn't die cast either. Just parts of it unfortunately and you'll notice this because i played with this a lot and you've seen that box i unfortunately didn't have it in good conditions or didn't have it put away good it is susceptible to paint chips right there like these doors are die cast the roof is die cast the hood right here is die cast this is plastic everything around it is plastic I believe uh, this is die cast right here. All of, well, I know definitely this part. But it gives him a massive amount of weight. And as you can see, transparent parts right there. Mazda logo. All that stuff you can see with your own, with your own eyes. Cybertronian radios right there. There's the detail right there. You can see the brake disc a little bit. Rotate one tire on one side and it's there steers Here's the detail back there this He has that license plate Meister and the window has the heating lines right there If you want to you can open the hood it only opens that far There is some engine detail in there. I'm trying to put my hand in such a way where the light can shine through there but yeah um, you get the picture, but you can't lift it any higher than that. The front door is open on both sides. The seats are adjustable. And since this is a foreign car and not the U.S. car, the steering wheel is over here. The U.S. version had the steering wheel on the other side, but you can see they painted the dashboard a little tiny bit. Right there. Yeah, you can see right there. And, since this car had suicide doors, guess what? This opens as well back there. And he actually has seats in the back. So, that's what gave him an advantage over the Subaru. 
figure and look at the paint work they, they put paint in the middle of the seat right there not just on the back of the seats but the Subaru Impreza didn't have rear seats so this one is one of the main ones that looks like an authentic car it does have holes right there on the bottom but you can't get away with that too much and the trunk opens can't really put much of anything in there down here you see his muffler and really the only real robot parts you can kind of tell not knowing this is a transformer is the hands right there but overall he is very delicious looking transformation it's pretty simple for an alternator basically what i always do get the weapon out of the way and I would drop that on the floor. Thank you very much, T-Man. Open the doors up. <laughs> All the doors. Get them out the way. Kind of separate this right here. And what I like to do is go ahead and go work on the legs. So split that up. Open these seats right here. Stretch that down. Stretch it down over here. Shut the door. Shut the door, shut this piece in, and this piece in. Bring the doors in like that. Rotate the foot around. Go ahead and rotate the legs around this way. Bring out the toe on both sides. Go ahead and split this and shut the door. Split that and shut the door. Bring the crotch up to meet this mid section and peg that into place. Rotate the legs around. Go ahead and bring the arms forward like this. Swing them outward. Pretty much, you know, you could rotate this around and shut that like that. Now we can bring this assembly down. Keep the arms like that, basically. And now the difficult part is trying to get his head through. Here, it's kind of difficult because you could pop the whole hood off. But once you get that down, shut that. Lift the arms up. Lift the arms up, slide the wings to an angle like that. But basically, he's transformed. The only thing else to mention is he does have a heel spur down here. Now, since he does have these die cast, this die cast heavy body, that heel spur only helps a tiny, tiny bit. But let's get him into a pose. Here is Red Zim Zim Meister Jazz out of packaging. And I think that he is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, somewhat I feel like it's too much red on as far as the thighs. Maybe the thighs should have been silver or this like wineish color right here that's on the shins. But I don't know. You let me know in the comments. Do you like it? I, I love this figure. It is so heavy. Like, man. They don't make Transformers like this anymore. Not official Transformers. Like, this guy was cheaper than a Masterpiece car. Like, importing this from Japan was cheaper. And this thing weighs three times as much as, <laughs> as Masterpiece Prowl. I mean, of course, it's a little bit taller, but... It feels like you're actually, when I got these, it just felt like you're actually holding a transformer in your hand. Like a real life transformer that was shrunk down. Now, there are options. What I used to like to do with him is put these doors out to the side. They had a Mazda, prom Mazda promotion around the time that had a red nondescript car that wasn't named anything. I think he might have been named Zoom Zoom or the fans nicknamed him Zoom Zoom. But the doors were out on the side with him. 
So I used to do that a lot to differentiate him from the regular white Meister. But, yes, let's zoom in on his face so you can see that. So you can see why I keep calling this dude Jazz. Because he definitely looks like him. It would have been nice if he had a smile or a smirk like Jazz would do. His visor is transparent. You can see the eyes under there, but barely because it's very, very dark. One thing that sucks for mines is this is flimsy right there. And it's always been from flimsy. I guess it's something I could I could probably fix that if I wanted to. But amazingly, this is stiff. Even with this whole part being die cast and it not really clipping. This hinge right here is very tight and keeps that in place right there. But let's let you see his body or some of the details under there. They're not painted, but he he's covered in freaking paint, so I can let that slide. He has two Autobot logos on his shoulders. One problem with this mold, like depending on how you try to bend them, this can come off very, very easy. So you have to be careful while you're posing them. Or do it in such a certain way. And now that I've agitated things, <laughs> it's probably going to keep popping off. No, I'll just leave it like that. It's not supposed to go any higher than that. Now, with as much articulation as this thing has and the Subaru mold, one thing that kills it is not having, like, elbow rotation like the arm is it's nice that he has double jointed arms but he can't pose his arm directly in front of himself and still look good and just in case for anybody i transformed the gun already it started off as a muffler zoom in on this come on focus i mean it looks like that but you Fold out this piece, fold out that piece, then you pull out that handle. And it goes in the hand, and this little peg hole that's right there. I mean, it holds it de decent enough, but since the peg hole is so small, it's hard to get that hand in there. But let's go into the articulation. Here it can look up, all the way up on a ball joint. Can not very much look down, but of course it can swivel and rotate. You have to lift his head up over this, which may be scary because that's paint. The shoulders can go down like that, rotate, and go out to the side completely. So the double jointed elbow, ball jointed wrist, fingers open all the way up, and the index finger is a separate part right there, so he can type on things. Waist rotation. Universal hips then go all the way forward like that. He doesn't have another thing this thing needed was thigh swivel or knee swivel. That killed it for me. The foot can go back, it can go forward, it can swivel, which comes in handy since it doesn't have the aforementioned thigh swivel, but it doesn't have any ankle pivot. And since it doesn't have ankle pivot, what they gave it was toe pivot. But the toe only tilts about so much and everything behind the toe is still up in the air. So it does a good job of faking out some ankle pivot and it does still stand up. So there you go with that. And I showed off the heel spur, what a lot of crazy people like to do. And I've seen this and, and I, I absolutely hate it and I thought the people taking pictures of it was retarded they put this hill spur all the way up forward like that and stand them like this which is completely goofy and another favorite thing i'll show off some people don't like the bumpers being his toes they like him to have more jazz like feet so they have this in the front which I can kind of see where they where they were going with that, but maybe the door should slide off to the side, and maybe they could have put him a real toe under there. 
I would have been able to accept that a little bit more than than I can now because I, I hate that as well. <laughs> but anyway, this is an excellent figure and I should have warned at the beginning that I'm not doing any comparisons. This is just a streak shot right here. But this is a cool figure. I mean, definitely. I don't see myself ever selling this and I'll probably have to take a a lot of money down or to take the price down because of the scratches on the paint if anybody would even want it after seeing those scratches but I love this guy and he is definitely definitely worth looking up if you wanna but anyway I've been trying to get him steady uh, if you like this review you're probably gonna like that video right there. This is my Alternators Bottle Tech playlist. Check through that. I have a ton of these things already reviewed. I'm pretty much finished reviewing all of them. There's only a few molds I haven't shown yet. Watch that video right there. Subscribe to me. Comment. I answer all my comments. T Man 978, out of here. Thank you for watching.